Hi guys, so I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about gamma radiation. I wanted to look at the radioactive decay of uh, a certain isotope, and I'm going to be looking at cobalt-60 today. Now, cobalt-60 is an isotope of cobalt, which is a metal. Cobalt-60 has got 33 neutrons, 27 protons. So from chemistry, you can pretty much imagine how that would look like. Um, if you were to draw it out, it's slightly different in the electron subpart, which is why we don't go up there in the suborbitals and whatnot. Now, that decays into nickel-60. Now, you need to know that nickel-60 has got 32 neutrons and 28 protons. So it's gained a proton, and the way that that's happened is that one of these neutrons has broken down and the neutron has formed a proton and has emitted a beta particle. I always struggle with drawing that, beta. So beta particles, remember that's an electron that shoots off and now you ended up with nickel 60. So you're wondering why that's got anything to do with gamma radiation, sorry, how that's got anything to do with gamma radiation, not why. Um, and it's because this nickel-60 has a tendency to be in a very high energy state. Now, the nucleus of this nickel-60, as I said, high energy state, and it doesn't want to be in that high energy state. Remember, most things don't like being high energy. The way it gets around that is by releasing a gamma ray. So the nucleus of your nickel-60 releases your gamma ray. Your gamma looks a bit like a Y which gets the energy out of it. Now, the way that the gamma ray is kind of released is very similar to how light is released from electrons as they go down energy levels. So if you think about copper, for example, and you run electricity through it, the electrons in the um, atom of electricity get excited and they move up suborbitals. And when they come back down, they release that energy as light and as heat. And this is a very similar method. Now remember that gamma radiation is an electromagnetic ray. And you remember the electromagnetic song? I'm not going to sing it for you. Ultraviolet. Gamma rays. Couldn't help myself. So light is also an electromagnetic ray. So when electrons drop energy levels, they tend to let out light. When it's the excited nucleus, of a nickel atom, it tends to let out a gamma ray. Now, gamma rays have a much shorter wavelength. They actually have the shortest wavelength. And remember, our wavelength looks like that, our lambda symbol. And they have the highest frequency Ooh. Make sure that you get a Q in there rather than a G. And they're also the highest energy um, This is obviously really dangerous for you because it can cause all kinds of genetic mutations and various other bad things to happen inside your body. I hope this has helped to clear up some thoughts you've had about radiation. I really love this topic. I'm really excited to explore it with you. I hope you all had a good Easter. Thank you very much and stay safe.